Hi guys, it's Ian from Q-Tips. Uh, for a while now, I've wanted to be, uh, I wanted to show you a video discussing long-term releases. Uh, for the last year, um, QGIS's latest long-term release has been 3.4. Uh, well, 3.0 actually. The latest release is 3.4.3. .3. So for a year now, they've had um, three out, and it's been supported as a long-term release, but they were still supporting 2.18. Now I've decided I had decided at that that point to to just wait a while for 3.0 uh, to get up to speed. A lot of the plugins were sort of outdated and still being updated to the point that they were usable in the latest release. So for a year I stuck with 2.18 and have been happily using that. Um, I am now in the point at the point where I want to upgrade and uh, move everything onto 3.4 Madeira. And that's what I'm doing. So a year of being able to develop and update plugins should have, get the, should have got the software to the point where it's uh, more usable and user-friendly. And one of the first things I noticed was that there was no open layers plugin. Um, and this is about two weeks ago. So I decided to create a video to show you how to add layers from the open layers and online streaming services without the open layers plugin. And that was only about two weeks ago. And what I've seen now, and this is just before I created this video, is that there actually is a plugin available now. So OpenLayers is now available on the latest version of QGIS 3.4, which is great. So, so that's great. We can now start adding layers from OpenLayers. So we do it as we normally do from our drop-down menu and see all the open layers available to us here. Okay, so that's that, that, that made me making a video show you how to add a link a bit uh, useless or redundant. But if I think about it, there's actually there's a use for it anyway. So I'm going to show you how to add a, an online streaming service um, via the, the XYZ tiles. Okay, so that, this is the, the option we're going to use here. So what you would have done in the past is just turn one of these layers on. From the plugin, if we just open, use the open street map layers, turn that on and zoom into our study area. Then we'd have the base layer streamed in and we would only need to add our vector layers, etc. So that wasn't an, uh, an option. It is now, but it wasn't then. So let me show you how to add another streaming uh, service via that button. So if we look online, we're going to have a look for something, uh, the quick map quick map layers so just type in here quick okay there we go my Google's predicting what I need quick map layers and then the site I want to look for is the next just site and they've got a list of services available so if you follow this link and follow the QMS for quick map services dot next just dot com link and that has a list of quite a few uh, online services and we're looking for the TMS services which is the tile map services I think I think that's what it stands for and the one we want to add and you can see there's there's a whole bunch here so you can scroll through and and find the base map layer that you need and we're going to use our search option here and search for open topo and that is the one we want okay so I'm going to open this link and this is the the map stream that we want and then this is the link that we need to add to our to our tiles just having a look at that layer just make sure it's the correct layer that you want and there it is okay quite a nice layer and as you zoom in the detail like all of these layers improves okay so that's the one we want so I'm just going to go back to QGIS and under our browser tab, select the XYZ tile uh, option, right click on it and click new collect connection. And here we're going to type in, or we can just type in TMS open topo. And then we need to paste that link in there. So if I go back to my, my browser, just drag and copy this. So copy that text that for that link back into QGIS. 
see the whole thing and then just type or don't type but copy and paste the URL in here and then click OK and that should give you a new option okay so here's a new base layer raster image that we can add or, and stream in so you obviously need a, a, a connection for this to the internet so you can select that right click and say add selected layer to canvas and there it is if I just go back to my layers you'll see we've got two two layers that are streaming in now so we don't need to see both we'll just remove that one and this is that layer so that's how you would do it so it's it's yeah it's, it's exactly what I wanted to do is to show you how to to add a, a base layer without the OpenStreetMap uh, plugin but since that's been added you can use those but this should also give you an extra option to add layers that are not used or not uh, available to that plugin so I mean there's there's tons online you can go in and have a look at the others and uh, yeah add the one that suits add the one that's going to work for you okay great so yeah I hope that's uh, been a fairly useful little tool and trick and uh, yeah give us a shot and let me know how that goes cheers